Good evening, everybody. Welcome. It's Pastor Joyce at Christ the Cornerstone Church. Uh, had a couple of glitches in the system, but persisted through it as always. Uh, glad you could join us tonight. I have a short message for you and a prayer. Um, as you can see, it's just me tonight. Pastor Tosh and Jamie are on their way back from Iowa, so prayers of safe travel for them. And in the meantime, I'm going to give you some scriptures and hopefully lift your spirits tonight. Uh, the scriptures come from Luke chapter 7. And uh, first verse says, when Jesus finished saying all this, he went back to Capernaum. Now the highly valued servant of a Roman officer was sick and near death. When the officer heard about Jesus, he sent some respected Jewish leaders to ask him to come and heal his servant. So they earnestly begged Jesus to come with them and help the man. If anyone deserves your help, it is he, they said, for he loves the Jews and even built a synagogue for us. So Jesus went with them. But just before they arrived at the house, the officer sent some friends to say, Lord, don't trouble yourself by coming to my home, for I am not worthy for such an honor. I am not even worthy to come and meet you. Just say the word from where you are, and my servant will be healed. I know because I am under the authority of my superior officers, and I have authority over my soldiers. I only need to say go, and they go, or come, and they come. And if I say to my servants, do this or that, they do it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Turning to the crowd, he said, I tell you, I haven't seen faith like this in all the land of Israel. And when the officer's friend returned to his home, they found the servant completely healed. So there's a few things in this story here that kind of open your eyes to, to some facts that I wanted to share with you tonight that help you understand that first and foremost, no matter how high or low you seem to think you are, may you, may you think you're unworthy, God doesn't see you that way. And this man was even referred to Jesus by the Jewish people saying, if anybody deserves help, it's him. So, you know, as though they think you have to be worthy of God, you know, God's favor and being a good person to get Jesus to heal. That's not how Jesus operates. And this is a Roman officer, someone who could be hated by the Jewish people, yet he was a good man. So this tells me a few things. Just because someone was with the Roman officers doesn't make him a bad person. So we can't generalize about people, no matter who they work for. Secondly, what we see is he's a person in authority, but he of himself could not heal the servant. So he was helpless. As much as his power that he had to order people around and to be someone who supervised, and who could actually uh, have authority over them, he could not save someone from dying, someone that was hurting, but he knew who could, Jesus. And so we see in this man faith that he wanted to have Jesus heal someone that was a servant, someone in the eyes of maybe of the Jewish people or in the eyes of those in the community, you know, a person that's just a servant. And this is a big high official. But yet you can see that the high official loved this servant. And we see that he doesn't have any favoritism. He, he wants this person healed, even though it's someone who works for him. So it shows really the, the impartiality of the Roman officer. You see that he has faith and trust in God. He also knows his powerlessness, that he cannot help this person, that he has to go to God to find that healing. But he also has such strong faith that... He knows that he, and he feels unworthy of who Jesus is, that he, that he realizes Jesus is above him, and he feels unworthy. Isn't it interesting to have that much power, yet to be humble and understand he feels unworthy. Even someone in power can feel that way. So we all have issues sometimes when it comes to who we think we are. But what we see Jesus do is he goes anyway. And I'm sure he would have gone whether or not this man was a good man or not a good man. Someone cried out for help. He asked for a healing. Jesus responded and went. And the other thing is this. What we see transpire is the man is healed from far away. Jesus doesn't have to get to the house to heal the person. So for those of us that are far away from uh, church sometimes or far away from uh, people that we feel could help heal and pray for us, uh, we're at a distance right now, all of us, um, guess what? 
Jesus can heal even from a distance. So you can go to him in prayer. It doesn't matter who you are, how high you think you are, how low you are, what kind of authority you, you have in your job or your secular work or what position you may hold. We're all in need of Jesus Christ helping us all. And that's what I see in this story. So um, there's, there's a lot of teaching here. What we first want to realize is when we have faith and we believe, we know the source of who's going to help us. That's God and Jesus Christ. That's the only answer to all of our problems. So that's my prayer tonight, that you don't any longer wait to go to God in prayer or to ask someone else to pray for you. And we've got to get over this unworthiness. We've got to get over this feeling of, you know, that God, we have to do good things to earn God's blessings, like God hands out prayers and answers to prayers only as we deserve. I thank God for that. So God is a God of unconditional love, unconditional compassion for anyone and everyone. And all we need is just like this man had, the faith to know who to go to, that he was powerless, he was helpless, but he knew where to go. The source of all healing, the source of all help, the one who can perform miracles, our God and Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Loving God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight, Lord. I thank you, God, that you are God who's always ready to hear our prayers. We have faith and trust in you, God. And we know, God, that we are helpless over so many things right now, God, that are happening throughout the world and within our own lives, God, and in the life of this church. And so many people, God, are in need of healing uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, Lord. And so we come before you tonight knowing that if you, we just say the word to you, we pray to you, God, you're going to respond to us. You're going to go meet the need for each person as you know they need it best, Lord. So we know that you have made us worthy. You are, we are, none of us are above or below anyone else, Lord. All of us need a savior. All of us need your miraculous working power. All of us need you, God, now more than ever. So I pray for everyone this night that they would just call upon your name wherever they are. I know you'll hear their voice. You'll respond and heal and restore and strengthen and bring your peace to us all. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you again tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Uh, hopefully the internet will, co uh, will cooperate. But I know this, regardless, we're going to keep on keeping on. We're not going to stop the opportunity for us to help you uh, through, our, through our thoughts, through our prayers, through our love. And if nothing else, if you can't hear us, talk directly to God. He's awake 24-7. God bless you. We love you. See you tomorrow night.